on once every three week injection injection of Clipix. So which is overdue by seven days. And all I care about, all I care to talk about is please can I have more for this medication because years disappear and time keeps passing by, and I'm never myself. Just but just an animal in an experiment. That never allows me to come off. I'm not like finding an alternative. I've never been allowed to see a psychologist. And doctors know what they doctors do not know what they are doing. And in every case is individual. And you're you're a sole survivor or another victim of blood sucking vampires trying to feed on the blood of humans by trying to win souls rather than love God. I have a few sites on the internet. Mashallah. Uh, submit dot co dot uk twelve three twelve dot uk zunkinane dot co dot uk two horns dot co dot uk paulers dot co dot uk aldukan dot com and my music can be found on a submit dot com. Sorry, no, not uh, the manga. Anyway, I want to do it to say some things. I want to say some things about my experiences, you know, I've been, uh, since 2002 I've been deemed mentally unwell. I was arrested in Durham for driving and doing a wrong manoeuvre and uh, since then uh, I'm making observations about the police force. Um, just observations really. They didn't have to be true or not true, but they were my observations and I was just making observations as I was going along and deemed me mentally unwell and sectioned me and put me in a mental hospital for, for a month. Um, they injected me with uh, Accuface twice, and uh, which lit, and then the next day I was transferred to Bradford, which is my hometown. Um, and this concern let me go home the next morning, following morning, because uh, I had graduated and he thought, uh, it's just a one off occasion or, or not or something that can happen all the time. But then again, they started forcing me to take medication again. My family was saying you got to take your medication. Everyone was saying you got to take your medication. But the feeling was so, so brutal, so agonising, so torturing and uh, evil, pain and disgusting feelings. Not disgusting feeling, but just agonising pain, it was just like torture almost and uh, I was very uh, sensitive to it and I had a, I had a arrest, uh, that's what they call it in medical terms, but what happened was uh, as, a, as a side effect to, to the haloperidol and whatever it was, my neck went like this and I was like this uh, and I couldn't breathe, I was choky. It was as if Darth Vader had got, got a hold, got a grip on me, and uh, um, I was like that for about 10, 15 minutes, and uh, it was getting worse and worse. And my whole body was just cringing and cringing and cringing and, uh, and deforming, and my back was in, my back was already, my back was already, stayed like that almost, and uh, uh, I was taken to A&E and my brother had uh, to shut to the consultant because he used to work at the same hospital. Uh, and he said, oh, do we forget to give him the antidote for the Accuface? And uh, they forgot to give him the antidote. Uh, antidote and uh, uh, I had a severe respiratory arrest, as they call it. But I just realised from then that in these vaccines and these these drugs that these doctors give to children and babies and it leads to severe paralysis and handicappedness and brain damage and all that as a result of their, of their karma of destruct karma of, of, of harm due to their animal testing and uh, poisons that they work in the laboratories. As soon as they gave me the, uh, the antidote, which was uh, procyclidine, I went back to normal again. Well, I, I felt normal again, but I don't know how much normal normality I had left. And, uh, and since then, they've been uh, drugging me. And. Uh, I don't know.
I don't know what you're about already, you know. Disbelievers in God, you know. Disbelievers in God, the devils descend upon them. Descend upon every lie, evil fabricator, as the Quran tells us. That's what the devil descend upon. Disbelievers in God. And the whole Western world is disbelievers in God. Most of the world is really. Most of the world disbelieves in God. But as a child, when the first face with us, with a question in their lives, they disbelieve in God and fall into the devil's influence of arrogance, of lust, greed, hatred, malice, envy and pride. Whereas those who, those who believe in God have faith. There for them is a quest of happiness. Those who believe in God have a faith and then for them is a quest of happiness. Whereas for the those who disbelieve in God is an experiment of misery. That's all it is. So the blessed stand full of wicked regrets. I'm thankful for where I am now. Everything in accordance with God's will. God controls everything. Everything belongs to God. God controls everything. God to God belongs everything. Everything is in accordance with God's will. Goodwill to all humans, happiness to all God's children, peace to all my brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum.